Dear ladies and gentlemen, kindly be seated as the ceremony will commence shortly. Ladies and gentlemen, we would now like to welcome our Chartered Banker countries who will be receiving their prestigious Chartered Banker designation today.
Ladies and gentlemen, please rise to welcome the members of the procession. Announcing the arrival of Yang Berbahagia Tan Sri Azman Hashim, Chairman of the Asian Institute of Chartered Bankers, accompanied by distinguished members of the AICB Council, Chief Executive of AICB, Mr. Edward Lee, and Chief Executive Officer of Asian Banking School, Professor Colin Carter. Ladies and gentlemen, please remain standing for the national anthem of Malaysia, Negaraku. <laughs> Before we begin the ceremony today, we shall now play the AICB's corporate video. Always remember whose little coins these are that become the millions and the billions that pass through your hands. Whose hard-earned savings are these? Upon whose backs do streams of sweat flow? Whom do they look to for a better tomorrow? Who are the ones who make the daily sacrifices to develop entire communities, to build a business, to raise a child, to construct highways, to set up schools? Always remember the lives that depend on you. I am an AICB member. And I'll always remember whose money it is. Be a chartered banker. Yang berbahagia Tan Sri Azman Hashim, Chairman of the Asian Institute of Chartered Bankers, Distinguished Members of the AICB Council, Chief Executive of AICB, Mr. Edward Ling, Chief Executive Officer of Asian Banking School, Professor Colin Gardner, Representatives from the Financial Institutions, Chartered Banker Conference and distinguished guests. Ladies and gentlemen, good morning and a warm welcome to the Asian Institute of Chartered Bankers, Fifth Chartered Banker Conferment Ceremony. Thank you for joining us at the significant occasion as we come together to celebrate the remarkable achievements of our members 
who have successfully completed the Chartered Banker qualification, and our excellent award winners who have completed the AICB's professional banking qualifications and achieved outstanding results. Distinguished guests, to begin today's ceremony, it gives us great pleasure to invite Yang Berbahagia, Tan Sri Azman Hashim, fellow Chartered Banker and Chairman of AICB, to deliver his welcome address. Dipersilakan, Tan Sri. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. My fellow distinguished council members of the Asian Institute of Chartered Bankers, Mr. Edward Ling, the CEO of ICB, Mr. Simon Thompson, Chief Executive of Chartered Bankers Institute UK, Professor Dr. Colin Gardner, CEO of the Asian Banking School, Fellow Chartered Bankers, <clears throat> and of course, most important today, the recipients of the Chartered Banking uh, title, the conferees. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, Assalamu alaikum. A very good morning and welcome to AICB's fifth Chartered Banker Conferment. I'm delighted that we're able to gather in person once again for such a significant occasion in this wonderful building, Bangunan EICB. On behalf of the Asian Institute of Chartered Bankers, I would like to extend my heartiest congratulations to all of you who are being conferred today. I know reaching this career milestone was no simple feat in view of the many personal and professional challenges you have had to overcome during the pandemic. <clears throat> it can certainly be challenging to balance the demands of work and family life while studying. But of course, extremely rewarding once you get there. Therefore, I'm <clears throat> most delighted to pay tribute to the 177 Chartered Banker Conferees this year. And I take pride <clears throat> in sharing that now we have a total of 630 Chartered Bankers and over 34,000 members as part of the AICB community. I'm pleased to see that through our continuous efforts and hard work, we're able to sustain a good momentum, which resulted in a 5% in increase in our membership and a 2% increase in our retention rate to 92% and a vast improvement in our net promoter score, which grew from plus 7 to plus 19 in 2021. This further reflects our members' satisfaction and recognition of our services and values, as well as their commitment as members of FICB. Additionally, it also gives us the assurance, reassurance, that we are moving in the right direction as we continue to equip our members to be uh, agile and future ready. To our chartered bankers, your success and status are indeed a mark of professional excellence. And with this achievement, you have become role models 
for the banking <coughs> profession. <coughs> As mentioned in the recent Bank Nagara Malaysia Financial Sector Blueprint 2022-26, a competent and highly skilled workforce is critical for the financial system to function effectively. Therefore, not only you have the competitive advantage to excel in your role as a banking professional, but more significantly, talents like yourself will continue to be Malaysia's competitive advantage in fueling a resilient, progressive, and sustainable economy and helping it remain among the leading financial hubs in the region. <clears throat> Having an internationally recognized professional qualification and designation is indeed a feather in your cap. And I hope that many more uh, doors of opportunities will open for you in the future. During my lifetime as a banker, much has occurred in the global financial industry that has challenged the credibility and trustworthiness of banking and finance practitioners. As we are in the business of trust, where trust is paramount in our relationship with clients, employers, and stakeholders, the expectations placed on the banking industry and its professionals are enormous. The banking industry <clears throat> and its professionals, sorry, to quote the author and business consultant, Patrick Dixon, uh, in banking or finance, trust is the only thing uh, you have to sell. As such, if our profession is to be respected, <clears throat> Oh, I don't miss a page. <laughs> Capable of offering true value and have in the future and thrive in the future, it must attain and retain strong public trust and confidence. For even as change and disruption become the new normal, trust remains a constant and the core of banking. And it is our, or your utmost responsibility as a banker to inspire public confidence in the profession, given the far-reaching impact of banking in the economy and the wider community. As responsible and sustainable, banking becomes the future with greater emphasis on environmental, social, and governance, the ESG agenda, the industry will need more bankers like you, chartered bankers who possess strong core skills in credit lending, risk management, coupled with a deep understanding of the ethics and social purpose or banking. I would like to emphasize the professionalizing of banking force, workforce, is one of the ways to build a stronger culture of ethical professionalism, which will support and complement our ESG goals and responsibilities as an industry. So as you embark on your professional career, as EICB members and chartered bankers, always aim to abide by the code of professional conduct and observe the oath to serve with the highest standards of professionalism and ethics to the best of your ability. As chairman of EICB and the Financial Industry Collective Outreach, FINCO, which represents the financial industry in Malaysia, I am heartened to see this uh, 
<coughs> sense of responsibility, responsibility towards the community in action. On many occasions during the pandemic, our member banks <coughs> and the financial industry came together through this platform to take a positive, to make a positive difference in our communities and assist why it mattered. As Finco reaches its fifth year of operations, it continues to focus on four strategic pillars, English efficiency, life aspiration, financial literacy, and disaster relief. Despite another year of disruptions in 2021, Finco <coughs> delivered programs through 1,300 teachers in more than 1,100 schools across Malaysia, directly engaging, engaging more than uh, 8,400 students through online and WhatsApp uh, workshops and impacting over 30,000 students in total. I hope to see this continued demonstration of responsibility, professionalism, and kindness in our current and future generations of bankers. Ladies and gentlemen, even as the outlook for the year ahead remains uh, indefinite, I feel hopeful and confident that nothing will hinder your pursuit of professional excellence. And to, uh, to match your stride, the ICB will continue to support you with all the resources and guidance you need in your professional development. I'm confident that with our newly launched, refreshed Chartered Banker <clears throat> qualification, uh, developed through close collaboration with our valued partner, the Chartered Banker Institute UK, we will see greater enrollments as it remains among the top program choices of members. For those of you who will become chartered bankers today, this is not the end of your learning journey. Given the massive changes taking place in the banking and financial landscape, you must continue to grow, adapt, and evolve. <clears throat> so embrace uh, an effective lifelong learning mindset. As part of the Institute's effort to support the continuing professional development of our members, we had many thought leadership initiatives, such as <coughs> webinars, conferences, e-learning, and networking activities in which you can get involved. You can find out <clears throat> more about this from our members' newsletter uh, sent out on 9th June recently. And we hope you will find it to be an interesting read. <clears throat> Additionally, perhaps the next step of your professional uh, journey could be to consider the Chartered Banker MBA. <laughs> I think you agree, eh? all, all, uh, all very happy. <laughs> They're all very happy. MBA. <laughs> By the renowned Bangor Business School in Wales, UK. This is offered by our Asian Banking School and supported by AICB. This is a very special accelerated route that allows AICB chartered bankers to expedite their knowledge uh, journey and obtain an MBA in a short, as short a time as 12 months. And I encourage you to consider this MBA in banking. With that, congratulations to all of you once again. And thank you to your families 
and employers who have supported you in your journey. Your dedication and achievement have enabled all of you to be to earn a lasting respect of the banking fraternity. Thank you. My heartfelt thanks to the Governor of Bank Negara Malaysia for her continued support. Of course, our council members and the, our valued partners, the Chartered Bankers to UK, the Asian Banking School, who have worked closely with us to achieve our key milestones, and especially to the management and staff of ERCB for their continuous hard work and dedication. Thank you, and enjoy the celebrations. Thank you, Yang Berbahagia Tan Sri. You may now return to your seat. Distinguished guests, we are now would like to play the recorded confirmant message from the Chief Executive Officer of the Chartered Banker Institute UK, Mr. Simon Thompson. Your Excellencies, Fellows and Members of the Asian Institute of Chartered Bankers and the Chartered Banker Institute, and most importantly of all, our new graduates, our new Chartered Bankers, good morning. I'm delighted to join you today representing the Chartered Banker Institute and to have the very great pleasure of congratulating 177 successful graduates who today become chartered bankers. I'm sorry, of course, I can't be with you in person, and I hope it won't be too much longer now until my colleagues and I can join future graduation events in Kuala Lumpur. Hope to see you and your fellow graduates this time next year. Now, I may be joining you remotely, virtually, but there is nothing virtual about your achievements we're celebrating today. They are real and they're hard won. As you'll know better than me, studying to become a chartered banker, a challenging, a difficult professional qualification, while holding down very demanding jobs and still trying to find time for your family, your friends, your loved ones, for yourselves, it's not easy. And I know there'll have been the very real challenges we've all had to face over the past two years of supporting customers, colleagues, our families, our loved ones through COVID, through very difficult times, through lockdowns, through remote working, through homeschooling, do a lot more. But then if it were easy, completing your professional qualifications to become chartered bankers, to become AACB members, to become members of our global family of chartered bankers would not be so valuable or as valued. Now the pandemic remains a considerable challenge to us all in the UK and Malaysia, indeed all around the world. And this combined with the impacts caused by geopolitical events such as the war in Ukraine, are leading to a global economic climate characterized by supply side shortages, rising prices and heightened volatility. In such uncertain times, it's vital for us all as professional bankers, as chartered bankers to rise to these challenges by redoubling our efforts to support our customers, our clients, our communities, and use our professional expertise to steer households and firms through choppy economic waters, through difficult times. And becoming part of the global family of chartered bankers will help you help others through our global community of practice and like-minded professionals. We must also continue to help our banking sector to achieve the global commitments we've made to reducing the adverse impacts of climate change and supporting, in fact, leading the whole economy transition to net zero required by mid-century. Banks and individual bankers are major drivers in supporting and facilitating change to a greener, fairer, more sustainable future. And I'm delighted to see AICB playing a leading role alongside my own institute in developing bankers knowledge and skills in, in an area that will shape banking, shape society, and quite literally shape our planet for many years to come. Now, whether in terms of financial or environmental stewardship or both, we'll only create genuine, shared, sustainable prosperity for all if banking and finance is based on firm ethical foundations built on trust, integrity, stewardship, prudence and professionalism, the values that all chartered bankers share and hold are the values which you've learned about and demonstrated during your studies. And I hope you put into practice every day when you go to work as role models for your colleagues and for the banking profession as a whole. 
So on behalf of the Chartered Banker Institute, the oldest institute of bankers in the world with a membership of nearly 35,000 professional bankers around the globe, let me offer my warmest, my sincerest congratulations to you all as you graduate today. And welcome our newest 177 members of our global family of chartered bankers, of whom we now have some 630 in Malaysia. It's a big family we have. And let me also recognize and thank your employers, your colleagues and your families who've supported your studies. So I'm sure you couldn't have done it without them. And of course, you couldn't have done it without the support of our colleagues and friends at the Asian Institute of Chartered Bankers, led by your chief executive, Edward Ling. Together, we've shared the challenges presented to all professional bodies by the pandemic, and that has further deepened and strengthened the relationship between us. My colleagues and I are proud to count the AACB as one of our closest partners in our shared mission to enhance and sustain professionalism and banking around the world. And we're delighted to have recently signed an agreement to confirm our continued collaboration and look forward to continuing to work closely together. And I'm confident that by doing that, our two institutes will continue to support you and many tens of thousands of current and future chartered bankers for many years to come. Well done again on graduating as chartered bankers. And please enjoy your special moment, your graduation day, and celebrate your achievements with your families, your friends, and your colleagues as you richly deserve to. Many, many congratulations. Thank you, Mr. Simon Thompson. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, membership and professional banking qualifications at the ICB provides the current and future generation of bankers with relevant knowledge and the highest standards of professionalism and ethics. The Asian Institute of Chartered Bankers is honored to host the fifth Chartered Banker Conferment Ceremony for the first time at our very own Azman Hashim Auditorium to celebrate our members who have successfully attained the Chartered Banker status in 2021. This prestigious international designation is awarded jointly with the Chartered Banker Institute UK and recognizes the diligence and determination of conferees in attaining the gold standard in banking. With great pleasure, we would like to invite Yang Berbahagia Tan Sri Asman Hashim, fellow Chartered Banker and Chairman of AICB, accompanied by Mr. Edward Ling, Chief Executive Officer of AICB on stage to present the certificates to our conferees. The Priscilla Kantansri and Mr. Edward Ling. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, we shall now begin with the conferment of fellow chartered banker status. The fellow chartered banker designation is a prestigious designation awarded to an eminent chartered banker with remarkable leadership who has made significant contributions to the financial services industry. We are delighted to announce to you our fellow chartered banker recipient joining the list of our, our esteemed fellow chartered bankers today is Mr. Dominic Fuda, Group Managing Director and Chief Executive Officer of Hong Leong Bank Berhad and a member of AICB Council. With great pleasure, we invite Mr. Dominic Fuda on stage to receive the prestigious status, the fellow Chartered Banker. Congratulations to our newly conferred fellow Chartered Banker, Mr. Dominic Fuda. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. Attaining the Chartered Banker designation indicates that our members have achieved the industry standard of knowledge, ability, professionalism and ethics in the modern banking and financial services sectors. Today, we are pleased to present to you our Chartered Banker countries. The presentation of the Chartered Banker status is now commenced. From Alliance Bank Malaysia, Berhad. 
Malaysia Pusat. And Wong Pei Pei. Thank you. Now we would like to play the congratulatory message from the Chief Executive Officer of Alliance Bank Berhad, Mr. Joel Conrich, Chartered Banker. Good morning, everyone, and congratulations to all of you for having graduated as Chartered Bankers. Here at Alliance Bank, we're proud that Three of our colleagues, Jacob, Puisan, and Pepe, are joining you as full chartered bankers. That is quite an achievement. I know it's a hard journey, and it requires a lot of dedication, work, and determination for self-improvement. Chartered banker qualification is not just another certification. It signifies the banking industry's highest standards of ethics excellence and professionalism so on behalf of all alliance bankers i want to say how proud we are that you have achieved this and that you are now part of this fraternity congratulations to all of you and special congratulations to our three colleagues you are now chartered bankers well done Thank you, Mr. Joel Conridge. Ladies and gentlemen, we would like to invite Yang Berbahagia, Datuk Sulaiman Muhammad Tahir, Chartered Banker, the Group Chief Executive Officer of M Bank Malaysia Berhad on stage to witness the presentation of Chartered Banker status for the countries from M Bank Group. Dipersilakan Yang Berbahagia, Datuk Sulaiman. From Ambang, Malaysia, Berhad, Alina Grace Tan Kui Kui, Marie Pang Chiu Ping. Kue Sir Tian. Sun Yan and Yo Siu Peng. from M Investment Bank Berhad. Edmund Lin, Lim Gin Sheng. Lim Jin Yuan. And Tracy Chan Wee Kang. Thank you, Yang Berbahagia Datuk Sulaiman Muhammad Tahir. You may now return to your seat.
Ladies and gentlemen, now we would like to play the congratulatory message from the Group Chief Executive Officer of MBank Malaysia Berhad, Yang Berbahagia Datuk Sulaiman Muhammad Tahir. A very good morning to MBank Group's Chartered Bankers. I would like to congratulate you for having successfully completed the modules and graduated from the Asian Institute of Chartered Bankers. I know it takes a lot of effort, time, commitment, and dedication to embark on this course while at the same time doing your full-time job with the bank. Despite these challenges, you persevered and have now successfully graduated. To me, achieving this certification is proof of your commitment in driving consistent and quality performance in the bank and the industry at large. I am confident that this achievement will certainly inspire others to follow your footsteps. So once again, congratulations on your well-deserved success. Thank you. Thank you, Yang Berbahagia Datuk Sulaiman Muhammad Tahir. Ladies and gentlemen, we would like to invite Mr. Jeffrey Mahmoud Hashim, Chartered Banker, the Chief Executive Officer of CIMB Bank Investment Berhad, on stage to witness the presentation of Chartered Banker status for the conference from CIMB Group. Dipersilakan. From CIMB Bank Berhad, Azirawati Abdul Rahman. Chi Chai Lik. Lao Wei Hian Lim Yu Chuan Mo Yao Yi Nur Alia Zulkifli Ong Gyok Ling Rudran Sivayana Pupati And Yong Li Ying from CIMB Investment Bank Berhad, Liao Yuan Shun. From CIMB Bank Cambodia, Boon Yin. Thank you, Mr. Jeffrey Mahmoud Hashim. You may now return to your seat. Ladies and gentlemen, now we would like to play the congratulatory message from the Group Chief Executive Officer of CIMB Bank Berhad, Yang Berbahagia Dato Abdul Rahman Ahmad.
Congratulations to all CIMB Chartered Banker conferees on your achievements. Your completion of the Chartered Banker qualification signifies the achievement of the highest standards of excellence and professionalism in the banking industry. I recognize it wasn't easy to juggle between work, studies, and personal matters, especially during the time of pandemic, but your hard work, commitment, and dedication are commendable. You truly deserve this success, and we are all very proud of you. I would like also to express our sincerest appreciation to AICB for the continuing support given to the banking industry in championing the quest to elevate the competency of our workforce via professional qualifications. Once again, congratulations to every one of you. Well done, keep up the great work, and thank you for making CIMB proud. Thank you, Yang Berbahagia Dato' Abdul Rahman Ahmad. Ladies and gentlemen, we would like to invite the Group Managing Director and Chief Executive Officer of Hong Leong Bank Berhad, Mr. Dominic Fuda, fellow Chartered Banker on stage to witness the presentation of Chartered Banker status for the countries from Hong Leong Bank Berhad. From Hong Leong Bank Berhad, Lau Hawa. Ong Ho Kim. And Te Wei Jin, Tan Wen Jia. Thank you, Mr. Dominic Fuda. You may now return to your seat. Ladies and gentlemen, now we would like to play the congratulatory message from the Group Managing Director and Chief Executive Officer of Hong Leong Bank Berhad, Mr. Dominic Fuda. Congratulations to all conferees on having successfully completed the Charter Banker qualification. For Hong Kong bankers, you are now part of a select but growing group of employees that have made the highest level of commitment to professional competence, integrity, and accountability. CB qualification is a demonstration of your lifelong commitment to the highest level of professional, technical, and ethical standards that we are all expected to uphold. Your enduring commitment to these standards and demonstration of professionalism will guide you through the challenges that you, not that, will face during the course of your careers. The Charter Banker qualification is one of the many learning and development opportunities that Hong Kong bankers can expect to be provided with to continue to develop your knowledge and skill sets as part of our approach to nurture a lifelong learning mentality. Being conferred the Charter Banker qualification is a significant milestone in a banker's career journey. So to the conferees here today, congratulations once again. Thank you, Mr. Dominic Fuda. Ladies and gentlemen, we would like to invite the group Chief Human Capital Officer of Maybank Group, Yang Berbahagia Dato' Nora Abdul Manaf, Chartered Banker on stage to witness the presentation of Chartered Banker status for the countries from Malayan Banking Berhad. Dipersilakan Datuk. From, from Malayan Banking Berhad, Azrul Hamza Nur Hamza.
Ding Nick Siok. Jason Lim Su Yan. Jivan Victor. Kamaru Zaman Muhammad Noah Elias Mat Nor Koh Meling Kaushik Chakraborty Yo Wai Yan Hua Chin Wei Hua Shur Ming Sen Rajin Kore Sia Hui Hin Surendra Nair Sankaran Mr. Surendra Nair Sankaran Tan Li Chun Tan Wei Chun and Tian Zi Yun. Thank you, Dato Nora. You may now return to your seat. Distinguished guests, we would like to invite the Chief Executive Officer of Mayabank Investment Bank Berhad, 
Yang berbahagia Datuk Fadil Muhammad, Chartered Banker on stage to witness the presentation of Chartered Banker status for the country from Maybank Investment Bank Berhad. From Maybank Investment Bank Berhad, Benny Wong Weng Hong. Thank you, Datuk Fadil. You may now return to your seat. Ladies and gentlemen, now we would like to play the congratulatory message from the Group President and Chief Executive Officer of Malayan Banking Berhad, Yang Berbahagia Datuk Khairul Salih Ramli, fellow Chartered Banker. Assalamualaikum and good day to all me bankers. Congratulations on becoming a chartered banker. You have now joined the ranks of over 600 chartered bankers in the nation and 48 are me bankers. Not only is today a well-deserved testament to your hard work and discipline, it also represents a major milestone in your lives. In today's dynamic business environment, achieving such professional qualification demonstrates commitment to high standards of competence and skills which is an important differentiator in the competitive marketplace. This globally recognized qualification also identifies all of you as change agents and ambassadors of professionalism in the banking industry. And this contributes to our M25 plan towards achieving greater height. As bankers and May bankers, there is so much you can do to bring fresh lease of life to the banking and finance sector businesses and communities. In the words of Peter Drucker, whenever you see a successful business, someone once made a courageous decision. You have made that at the start of this learning journey and it has paid off today. Hashtag learning never stops me bankers, learning and growing. So let's also inspire and encourage others to continue to grow and succeed in the bank. Competent and knowledgeable world-class banking talents will always be the key to our success as we navigate the era of digitalization. Congratulations again to you and all conferees. I hope your achievement will inspire other May bankers to pursue a Chartered Banker qualification as well. Lastly, I wish you all the best and hope that this accomplishment opens many doors of opportunity and helps you to realize your personal and professional ambitions. Thank you, Datuk Khairul Saleh Ramli. Distinguished guests, we would like to invite the Chief Executive Officer of OCBC Bank Malaysia Berhad, Yang Berbahagia Dato' Ong Eng Bin, fellow Chartered Banker on stage, to witness the presentation of Chartered Banker status for the conference from OCBC Bank Malaysia Berhad. From OCBC Bank Malaysia Berhad, Lim Su Hoon. Tan Chai Lee To Xiu Feng Yap Yu Xuan And Yip Chi Cheng. Thank you, Dato Ong Eng Bin. You may now return to your seat. Distinguished guests, now we would like to play the congratulatory message from the Chief Executive Officer of OCBC Bank Malaysia Berhad, Yang Berbahagia Dato Ong Eng Bin.
Hi, on behalf of everyone in OCBC, I wish to congratulate all of you and say how proud we are that we have all achieved the coveted Chartered Banker Award. It is really good to know that all your hard work and sacrifices have finally paid off. Kudos again to everyone on this outstanding effort. You are really our fine ambassadors for OCBC as well as AICB. Please also encourage others to follow your footsteps in this worthwhile journey in banking. Thank you once again, and I wish you all the very best success in your future in banking. Thank you, Yama Bahagia, Dr. Ong Eng Bin. Ladies and gentlemen, from Public Bank Berhad. Chan Aileen. Chan Puigi. Chan Yao Pik. Chia Ga Son. Chia Xin Yi. Chair to Yuan Chin Su Wei Fong Li Moi Go Xiu Tang Gregory Sim Han Mang Ho Chia Yong Hao Han Jun Jesher Chu Cho Han Ko Chai Yan Lao Mei Leng Li Dik Jin Lim Jo An Lim Zen Yung Lim Zin In Ling Li Lo Ying Ji Lao Yik Ping Eng Kamen
Ang Kya Yon. Ang Yilian. Ang Yilin. Ngoi Mei Huai. Ni Nadira Farhana Ni Arif. Nurul Farhana Jumari. Ong Wee Lee. Pang Yung Wai. Po Tin Kwe. Shirley Lok. Sin Hui Zi. Tan Chao Hong. Tan Se Li. Ti Xiu Li. Te Chun Siang. Tong Lee Kut. Yap Chik Chin. And Wong Lee Po. Thank you. Now we would like to play the congratulatory message from the Managing Director and Chief Executive Officer of Public Bank Berhad, Yang Berbahagia Tan Sri Datuk Sri Dr. T. R. Lek, fellow chartered banker. Ladies and gentlemen, my fellow chartered bankers at Public Bank, my heartiest congratulations to all conferences on your milestone achievement. Indeed, you have made Public Bank proud. As today, we have the highest number of chartered banker graduates, 47 in total at this conferment ceremony. The bank has always advocated continuous learning as a pathway to success. Good banking is produced not only by good laws, but by good bankers. Once again, congratulations and best wishes on your future endeavors. Thank you, Yang Berbahagia Tan Sri Datuk Sri Dr. T. Alik. Distinguished guests, we would like to invite the Group Managing Director 
and Group Chief Executive Officer of RHB Bank Berhad, Encik Muhammad Rashid Muhammad on stage to witness the presentation of Chartered Banker Status for the conference from RHB Bank Berhad. From RHB Bank Berhad, Azlina Safian. Chao Kian Kun. Lao Li Yin. Muhammad Saifullah alias Rohan Krishnalingam and Sarata Arumugam Thank you, Encik Muhammad Rashid. You may now return to your seat. Now we would like to play the congratulatory message from the Managing Director and Group Chief Executive Officer of RHB Bank Berhad, Encik Muhammad Rashid Muhammad. Assalamualaikum and warm greeting to everyone. Today, we recognize and celebrate the diligence and determination of 174 new chartered bankers from across more than 30 financial institutions in the country. Congratulations to each and every one of you for this great achievement and a special mention to the seven outstanding RHBNs who have been conferred at today's ceremony. Well done, we are truly proud of your achievements. This achievement marks a significant milestone in your career progression as a chartered banker. I hope you will continue to elevate the professional standards that has been set as you progress further within your respective careers. Once again, well done to each and every one of you and I wish you the very best in your journey ahead. Thank you. Thank you, Encik Mama Rashid. Ladies and gentlemen, we would like to invite the Chief Executive Officer of Standard Chartered Malaysia Berhad, Mr. Abrar Alam Anwar on stage to witness the presentation of Chartered Banker Status for the conference from Standard Chartered Malaysia. From Standard Chartered Bank Malaysia Berhad, Dennis Fung Shi Heng. Muhammad Sultan Hayat Han. And Priya Devi Paramanadan. From Standard Chartered Global Business Services, Yo Wan Kun.
Thank you, Mr. Abrar. You may now return to your seat. Ladies and gentlemen, now we would like to play the congratulatory message from the Chief Executive Officer of Standard Chartered Bank Malaysia Berhad, Mr. Abrar Alamanwar. Hi everyone, I'm delighted to wish every graduate of this year's ASCB Chartered Banker Program congratulations and very well done. You are now a globally recognized banking professional and you have truly made yourselves and all of us very proud today. We applaud your commitment to owning your development as seen in the efforts you have put in to complete this program while maintaining strong performance in your day-to-day -day job. I trust that this program has equipped you with critical knowledge that will propel your career further. Keeping pace with the ever-changing world is important for us in the financial services industry to be able to respond to evolving client needs with innovative solutions and cutting edge technologies. This passion drives our learning agenda and standard charter where we empower our employees to be in control of their own career paths in fulfilling their ambitions. And we hope more will follow in your step today to upskill themselves. At Standard Chartered, we very much value this credential. It makes me immensely proud of five of my colleagues who will be graduating today. Heartiest congratulations to all of you, and I'm sure many more of my colleagues will get inspired and aspire to be a chartered banker. I would also like to thank AICB for a good job, well done, and for being a great partner to Standard Chartered and the banking industry as we continue to raise the bar for the professional and ethical standards of the industry. Thank you and congratulations once again. Thank you, Mr. Abral Alam Anwar. From Afin Bank Berhad, Cheng Shun Yong Adam. From Bangkok Bank Berhad, Andrea Chong Hon Nian. From Bank Islam Malaysia Berhad. Nor Hafiz, Nor Inc. From Bank Negara Malaysia, Muhammad Zabidi, Mat Nor. Nor Dalilah Abdullah. And Shairul Zila Muhammad Yusuf. From Bank of China, Malaysia Berhad, Lau Kah Meng. From Citibank Berhad, Lo Von Jack <laughs> Distinguished guests, we would like to invite the Chief Executive Officer of HSBC Bank Malaysia Berhad, Mr. Muhammad Siddiq on stage to witness the presentation of Chartered Banker status for the country from HSBC Bank Malaysia Berhad. From HSBC Bank Malaysia Berhad, Adeline Sin Hui Fen.
and Danny Lim Hu Yuan. Thank you, Mr. Omar Siddiq. You may now return to your seat. From JP Morgan Chase Bank Berhad, Go Gan Eng. From Kenanga Investment Bank Berhad, Tam Man Han. From Labuan Financial Services Authority, Pui Jun Jin. From MBSB Bank Berhad, Aniza Zakaria. G. And Rifai Faiz Abdul Rashid. From MUFG Bank Malaysia Berhad. Cheryl Wang Yuni Chin Pik Hu Fu Si He Hong Lin Ken Lim Sim E and Lu Yang Ping. From United Overseas Bank Malaysia Berhad, Ang Ai Li, Ling Zi Yuan. Ng Yue Chi Vincent Tio Wei Sheng and Yap Chui Mei. From Bank Al Habib Limited, Brian Kit Dimelo. From Bib At Tamwil Berhad, Kwa Chifat. From IPFIM Consultant, Wahid Ali Muhammad Khalil. From Satana Satapana Bank, 
Ponakrat Svoi. From Star Talent Consulting, Chu Hoi Meng. From Yutaka Shoji, Malaysia, Sandiran Brahat, Yong Yun Shin. And last but not least, Muhammad Akmal Mat Hussein. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, this concludes the confirmation of Chartered Banker status. Congratulations to all our Chartered Banker recipients. Could we have Tansri Azman Hashim and Mr. Edward Ling to remain on stage for the presentation of the Excellence Awards. Ladies and gentlemen, we have been recognizing our members for their outstanding achievements in their respective qualifications. And today, it is our privilege to celebrate the success of our excellent award winners. I would like now to invite Yang Berbahagia Tan Sri Azman Hashim and Mr. Edward Ling to present the excellent awards to our outstanding members. We will now proceed with the presentation of excellent awards to members of the ICP who have successfully completed the various professional banking qualifications with AICP. The, recip the recipients of our excellence awards are Chartered Banker, Lau Kah Meng, Bank of China, Malaysia Berhad. Professional Banker, Si Jin Wen, United Overseas Bank, Malaysia Berhad. Retail Credit Professional, Muhammad Azim Aminuddin, Bank Muamalat Malaysia Berhad. Certification for Bank Auditors, Wong Yi Chin, United Overseas Bank Malaysia Berhad. Certified Anti-Money Laundering and Counter-Financing of Terrorism Compliance Officer, Stephanie Ong Li Shu, Bazian Trust Labo Limited. Advanced Certification in AML CFT, Ng Jo Lin. Standard Chartered Global Business Services. And Advanced Certification in Regulatory Compliance, Nordayana Oma, Alliance Bank, Malaysia Berhad. Let's put our hands together to congratulate to our outstanding members. Thank you, Tan Sri. Could I kindly request for Tan Sri to remain on stage? May I now invite Mr. Edward Ling to kindly return to your seat, please? Ladies and gentlemen, Membership with AICB represents a commitment to demonstrate the highest standards of ethical values and professionalism. Today, AICB would like to remind all our members 
on the importance of adhering to the code of professional conduct and request that all chartered bankers and graduate members affirm their commitment to the code. I would like to invite Yang Berbahagia Tan Sri Azman Hashim as Chairman of AICB to lead the oath of commitment to the Code of Professional Conduct. The text of the member's oath will be projected on the screen. Dipersilakan Tan Sri. Could we request for the Chartered Banker Conferees, excellent award winners, and members of the procession party to please stand up and raise your right hand to affirm your commitment to the Code of Professional Conduct. Thank you for being upstanding. So please raise your right hand. Thank you. Just follow me. As a member of the Asian Institute of Chartered Bankers, I commit to exercising my duties in accordance with the principles of the Code of Professional Conduct, which are responsibility, respect, integrity, competence and due care, objectivity, confidentiality. I will make every endeavor to ensure my professional behavior meets the standards expected by my colleagues, stakeholders, and the Institute. Thank you. <laughs> thank you, Yang Berbahagia Tan Sri. The, the thank you was a bonus. Huh? May I now invite Tan Sri to officially close the ceremony? This is a shorter sentence I have to read. I hereby adjourn the ceremony. Thank you, everybody. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we have come to the end of AICB's fifth Chartered Banker Conferment Ceremony. We are extremely proud of our members' achievements and we wish to congratulate all the newly conferred fellow Chartered Banker, Chartered Bankers and excellent award winners on your outstanding achievements. We believe that you will continue to advocate for professionalism and ethics in banking, Fulfill your responsibilities with integrity and uphold the trust placed in you as professionals of the banking industry. We would also like to thank our council members, representatives from the financial institutions, and distinguished guests for taking the time to join us today. Ladies and gentlemen, may I kindly request for all of you to rise for the closing procession. We now invite Yang Berbahagia Tan Sri Azman Hashim to lead the members of the procession to leave the hall.
Ladies and gentlemen, there will be a group photography session for the following organization at the photo wall outside of the auditorium. Conferees from the following banks are required to remain in the auditorium to facilitate the arrangement for this group photography session. M Bank Malaysia Berhad, Public Bank Berhad, Malayan Banking Berhad, CIMB Bank Berhad, RHB Bank Berhad, OCBC Bank Malaysia Berhad, Alliance Bank Malaysia Berhad, and Afin Bank Berhad. To the rest of the conference and the guests who would like to have a studio photograph taken, you may now proceed to level M. Thank you for joining us today and we wish everyone a wonderful weekend ahead. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, all the conferees, may I have a conference from M Bank Group? From M Bank Group? So the coordinator from M Bank. Conference from M Bank. Okay, uh, next, can we have from Public Bank? Thank you. 